All right, guys, we are back in my garage for another video. And today we're going to be talking about the latest teaser that just came from MHD Tuning. It's super exciting to see that they're going to be coming out with a solution to allow you to bench unlock your DME at home. So this is for everybody that basically has a DME that was updated with the latest BMW software. You will no longer need to send your DME out in order to get it bench unlocked. You'll actually be able to unlock it at home so that you can flash your car through the OBD like normal. Now, this does come with some limitations, and they talked about, you know, a little bit of an extended timeline, and I think a lot of people just had questions. So I'm going to talk in this video about the details that I do have and also discuss some of the questions that we still have. Feel free to continue the conversation down in the comments, but hopefully we'll get more news in the future. I just kind of wanted to present the information that I do have with you guys today. So hopefully you find this video useful. Now, as always, for everybody that's new to the channel, I create these videos to help keep you updated on the latest developments in our community, as well as discuss technical topics so that we have a better understanding of how our engines work. So if you're interested in more videos like that, be sure to subscribe because there will be a lot more coming out in the future. Now, I hate to start this off talking about the competition, but probably about a year and a half ago, we talked about the new Dynan handheld tuner that came out on the market. And in that video, I discussed a little bit about the capabilities of the tuner, and a lot of the people that are big fans of Dynan were super excited because instead of having to use a piggyback, they were able to OBD flash their car from home, just like a lot of the other major tuning platforms. So this was a big step up for Dynan, and I actually had somebody reach out to me and ask if it would work with their car because it required a bench unlock. And of course, I told them no, because if it needs a bench unlock, then you can't unlock or flash it through the OBD first. You need that bench unlock. But they mentioned that Dynan actually told them that it could be flashed to cars that need a bench unlock. And if you look a little deeper into the documentation for how they actually flash the car, it shows that it includes a wiring harness so that they can plug it directly into the DME and flash software to the DME that will unlock it. And if you guys have seen any of the other videos showing how cars are bench unlocked, you'll know that it's extremely similar some people like Keys Motorsports have posted videos showing how, you know, they'll tap the specific pins on the DME and hook it up to their computer. And that's how they bench unlock it. You know, they splash the software directly to the DME because with the latest encryption on our DMEs, you can't unlock them by flashing through the OBD and the car's regular communication system. So you have to plug directly into the DME itself. So when I saw that, I realized, I guess that will work, you know, and that's pretty cool. You have a handheld tuner that can flash a car that requires a bunch unlock from home because I thought that was a pretty cool proposition. You know, potentially you could use these handheld tuners just to unlock your car and then maybe sell it to somebody else or do whatever you need to do to get your car flashing and going. But you know, that conversation didn't really go anywhere and we just kind of moved on. Well, now it seems like MHD is capitalizing on that opportunity. And you can see in this picture, they basically have a module that is mounted in the engine bay and based on their description, it's going to plug directly into the DME so that you can bench unlock your DME from home. So you'll no longer need to send it out to a shop or find a shop local to you. Or if you're in the middle of Minnesota or somewhere where you just don't have a lot of tuners available in your area, now you don't have to find somewhere that can bench unlock your DME. You can basically buy this tool, set it up to flash to your DME, and then you'll do all your normal off-the-shelf maps or custom tuning like normal. So I think this is a really cool tool to have. It's definitely a big step in the right direction, but it doesn't solve all of our problems. So first of all, they did mention that this is being developed for the Gen 1 B58 first. I think that just has a larger market. You know, a lot of people are buying these cars used and they're probably coming from dealers that have updated the software. So there's a high likelihood at this point that a car that hasn't been tuned before will require a bench unlock first. So they're working on getting that Gen 1 B58 support done. And then they're going to work on other options like the Gen 2 B58. But something that you guys should be aware of is if you have a car after the June 2020 cutoff, this will not solve your unlock issue. This is only for cars before the June cutoff that were able to get their cars bench unlocked from people local, you know, in your area. So if you have a car after that cutoff, then you're still going to have to send it to Fem2 and get the unlock. You're still going to have to work with your tuner to make sure that everything's set up beforehand and that whole process for cloning and unlocking DMEs after the cutoff will not be affected. 
So I know that's a little unfortunate because a lot of people thought, oh, this means all the 2023 cars can be unlocked from home. And that's just not the case yet. It's not really changing anything for those cars. But like I said, I do think this is a step in the right direction. And hopefully MHD is building capability into these tools. So when we do come up with a solution, even if it's the equivalent of a bench unlock, this tool will hopefully be able to accomplish the same task. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see as that comes, you know, if anything else will be available. Also, they did mention that this will work even for the S55 cars. So some of you guys know, even a year before the B58s were having this, you know, DME lock issue, S55 cars were facing the same issue as well, like in 2019. So if you have a car after that, I believe March 2019 cutoff and you have an S55, you know, M2C or whatever that needs to be bench unlocked, this will be set up to work for your car as well. They just said it'll come after the Gen 1 B58 development is completed. So, yeah, you know, I mean, even though it's not the full solution that everybody's looking for, I definitely think this is something that's going to help a lot of people. You know, let me know if this is something that you think would sway you into the MHD kind of ecosystem. I don't know how this will actually work. I'm assuming that you'll need a flash license first and it'll work through the MHD app. But maybe it'll be a completely separate tool, you know, that any and everybody can use to unlock their cars and then flash any software that they want. Also, we're not sure on pricing yet. You know, if it's more expensive than a regular bench unlock, then it might not motivate very many people to go this direction. But with the added convenience of being able to do it at home, you know, maybe that is something that you guys are interested in. And, you know, we also don't know the actual timing yet. They just said that they're working on the Gen 1 B58 first. And this is just kind of a teaser showing what it looks like right now. But we probably have to wait several weeks, if not a couple months before it's fully released. So for now, we're just going to kind of be patient. If you guys want to keep up with them, follow them on all their social media channels. You know, they're on Instagram, Facebook, basically everywhere. I'll show you that you guys can keep up with the latest and greatest news from them. And I'm going to be doing the same. You know, I can't wait to see when it actually drops, how it works and what it looks like. And hopefully we get a lot of people testing it out to report on how it works. But yeah, that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below.